Hey there, conscious breathers and infinite beings alike. This is book number two of The Breath Tao. The breath will guide you to shed the skin of stress and walk the other side of fear. You are made up of 65% oxygen. You become the thought patterns you are breathing in. Calm the breath in the eye of the storm, just like the ocean. Before giving into fear, give into the breath, it's far more real. Acknowledging the breath in everyone and everything is a step towards connecting the whole spectrum with self. The breath is gift of destiny, aka God. Life is the boat we are all on. The breath is the body of water carrying us to endless destinations. The soul is as old as the breath of life, infinite. In the midst of chaos, remember you are breathing in peace. The moment you match that frequency, the more apparent chaos becomes a game. It's not the length of breath that is important. It's the quality. Every breath feeds one of the two wolves. Choose the one that has your heart in the right place for growth. The breath reminds you that one has more control over their internal circumstances versus external. The breath is a natural mystic. The breath is not just something to believe, but to feel. To feel is to know. The common frequency we are all sharing is different consciousness and aspects of the breath. No one is better than anyone, just breathing at different frequencies at the same time. Nobody wants to plant the seeds but to bear the fruit. Plant positive connections with the breath in peace, so in chaos you don't have to look far for fruit. Medicine man asked, what is poison? He answered, anything beyond what we need is poison. Whether ambition, power, ego, affluence, illness, food, fear, scrutiny, whatever. The air you breathe has touched infinite space beyond the sky. Be in tuned and be reminded the sky is not the limit. The breath is a spark of divinity that causes the chain reaction we call life. Stop cutting yourself doing blood over intent. What moves the blood? The lungs. Do breath work with intent instead. The breath is the pen used for the script of your life. Fear is the cheapest room in the hotel. The breath guides you to better quality living conditions. The moment you start breathing like life is a blessing, it starts feeling like one. As one takes its last breath, the body falls to the earth. Your body belongs to nature. Purify and get in tune. Don't get mad when rejected by someone or something. They have done you a favor by not wasting your time. The breath, on the other hand, will never reject you and gives you quality time. The breath is proof we're meant to live, not to survive. Let thy food be thy medicine. The breath is like the endless river that feeds the spirit of plants. Breath is a conductor for the symphony of life. The breath has many different flavors we use breath work to taste them. The breath is living proof of eternal intelligence. 
We have external governments because we can't govern ourselves. The breath brings you closer to the source that governs your soul. Knowing this, one can govern themselves. Full breaths equal full expression of life. Breath work might get you to a point where you're breathing fire. Start and start burning egos. The breath dwells in the realm of harmony because its inner vision is never tainted. Fear is a product of not breathing in the now. One is looking for breaths outside of their reality. The breath is so real, everyone can relate. The breath is the true teacher. Breathwork is the classroom. Truth is not information from no book. Truth is an experience. The breath brings you closer to that truth, whatever it may be at that given time, discovering it. Circulation keeps you youthful, not food. Breath controls circulation. The blood is amplified breath, i.e. spirit. The breath is like the tears from the heaven, bringing life to plants when they are dry. The breath is the universe's light used to illuminate the darkness. The more you follow the breath into innocence, watch those who dwell in ignorance sail away like two ships passing by in the middle of the night. Natural law will always be, no human is above it. Suicidal thoughts. This man asked, why does no one love me? I answered, well something loves you and nurtures you every day. He asked, what's that? I answered, the breath. Cleansing without breathwork is like cleaning a spill without any paper towel. Either move with life or go against the choice is yours. The breath is filled with no intentions, just an endless void of possibilities. The breath is one with eternal peace. It was never born. One of the many sins of life is paying no attention to your breathing. It's the core of your existence. No amount of anxiety will change what's already going to happen. Breathwork, on the other hand, will give you more confidence to deal with it. Harmonious breaths equal harmonious perception of life. The more quality breaths you take, the less you need. With certain types of breathwork, you lower the amounts of breath taken, thus creating a backlog versus one set number of karmic breaths they are given in this lifetime. You are literally getting close to staring death in the face and telling it no. This is the state of samadhi. Life as a whole becomes psychedelic if you are aware of the natural mystic in the air. False tears bring you pain to those around you. False smiles brings pain to oneself. The breath reminds you of true feelings within. In the beginning, the creator created breath before human. Adam and Eve needed something to work with. Alchemy breathwork unifies every situation with the breath, leading one there. It's more than just breath sessions. Breathwork can't change the world. It's already in perfect harmony. It can change the people. Before the action of greed and other monstrosities occurred, there was a thought. Before the thought, there was breathing patterns of disharmony. Breathwork connects with harmony, thus giving one more incentive to do more harmonious actions. 
Before the fall of mankind, we were breathing more in harmony. You can tell from the old remains of giant trees and ancient technology that we're more advanced than today's technology. Still, scientists can't explain how the pyramids were built. Breathwork is Netflix for the soul. The breath is filled with living, omnipresence, balance, energy, love. Every breath is in service towards your progression. If your inner world is in balance, how does one expect their outside world to be balanced? The breath is in balance with all things. Be more like the substance that feed you every second. Breathwork is an inner body experience and allows you to get closer to the full true breath. Anything that numbs you pushes you away from that experience of full embodiment. The breath is the secretary to your human experience. The breath dwells within past, future, and present. It doesn't see the difference. Realizing the breath in every situation is a powerful step towards a mindset of abundance and foundation and support. In alchemy breathwork, we focus beyond the session. The breath is not earned, it's given. Quality breaths is earned through breathwork. Want to see fireworks every day? Step one, decalcify your pineal gland. Step two, build up your awareness through breathwork or meditation. Step three, after every session, look into space or the sky or sun. Step four, observe with more precision and let go and witness the fireworks around you in everyday life. Our manifestations and experience is exhalation from the quality of thoughts and breaths we produce. If one does not value health, breath, and purpose, one is dying to live. Deep down, the soul wants to live, so it's not suffocating from lack of full expression. Before the thought, there was the breath. Control the breath. Control your thoughts. The inhale acts the exhale. Why do people love me and hate you? Exhale replied, Because you're a beautiful lie and I'm a painful truth. Three things that will not be hidden. The sun, the moon, the breath. Breathe to the fullest so you can live to the fullest. To break old habits and patterns, change the ignition, hence the breath algorithms. The breath is the ultimate teacher. It knows your weaknesses and reveals them during breath work so you can grow by releasing that emotional weight. A good way to gauge fullness is paying attention to your breathing. Notice shifts and you will find yourself listening to your body a lot more. Your stomach is supposed to be the size of your fists. So is what you eat. Make breathing louder than your inner thoughts. Alchemy breathwork is stress management. The breath is a living legend. Forget centuries, you remember it every time, in every lifetime. The breath and the earth. The earth is breathing at the right frequency. Every turn you see growth. The highest truth cannot be put into words. After breathwork, you rather feel it as much as you can rather than describing it in the non-dualistic realm. 
The one who lives without desire, expectation, or identity is called the breath. Spirit will do what it takes to give you signs yearning for full expression. It's up to you to take the call. Question. What is ego? My answer. Anything that gets in the way of a full breath. Full embodiment is where the egoless resides. Incomplete breaths is incomplete thoughts dwelling in the perception of disassociation. Full expression of life requires a full breath. Ego is only a part of the whole spectrum and dwells in separation. Breathwork gets you in the timeless void. No experience can limit you. The breath has no limits. Breathwork helps you break the breath fast, getting closer to that full true breath. The breath respects the energy of the unknown. That is why it feeds us. The breath is a conscious being's best friend. Life without a relationship with breath is like having a cell phone without service. You feel less connected to the world around you. The stress of life will try to bury you. When you are aware of the breath, your seeds will start to sprout regardless of the location. Breathe elevation over ignorance. The intention of alchemy breathwork is to align so deeply with the breath that we don't question or doubt its voice. Breathwork isn't always nice and fluffy. Keyword work within the breathwork. Not everyone wants to do the work and deal with their trauma. People love comfort. But in reality, it's like loving to sit in a pile of feces waiting for rain to do the cleaning for you. If you want to step your breath ga- breathwork game up a notch, focus on the biochemistry. Great, you got the deep breaths going. Take it up a notch by stop sacrificing the mechanics for the chemistry. We are carbon-based beings, not oxygen-based. Elevate your breathwork. Breath awareness gives you consciousness to the reality that you are more than a color. You are what you are. Thank you all for sharing the breath. Hey there, conscious breathers and breathers alike. This is book number two of the breath time. The breath will guide you to shed the skin of stress and walk the other side.